Right, well I'm going to tell you the story of a magic trick I did for a Japanese camp commandant which nearly cost, you, cost me my life. Uh, the whole object of the trick, as far as I was concerned, was to get hold of an egg because that was weeks of pay to buy an egg. We never had eggs. I thought if I could borrow an egg to do tricks, I'd end up eating it. And the Japanese camp commandant who asked me to perform, I told him, I can't do anything. I have nothing to do it with. So he said to me, you speak, which was as far as he got, I think, to saying, what do you want? So I said, uh, an egg. Well, I knew if I did a trick with an egg, I'd end up eating it. So he wrote a chitty out and told me to take it to the uh, cookhouse, Japanese cookhouse. I gave the chitty to the sergeant in charge. He read it and then asked me what I wanted. Not in English like that. He just um, sign language, what do you want? So I thought to myself, well, it can't possibly say one egg. Otherwise, he would have given me one egg. And being quick-witted about it and food on the way, I said to him, 50 eggs. And he gave me 50 eggs. So I went straight back to the hut and we made a 50 egg omelette and we ate that. I kept an egg or two for myself for the trick. I did the trick and that night it was a great success. And uh, the next day I was summoned to his hut. He said to me, you do trick one egg, wear 49 eggs. And as quick as a flash, I don't know where I got the inspiration from, I said, your show was so important. I was rehearsing all day. And he nodded and let me go. I was quite certain my head was going across the floor. And I think to this day that he probably knew that I was lying, but it was enough to save his face because we had been on fairly good terms. But this is the trick I did. I took a silk handkerchief. In that case, it wasn't silk. I just got him to lend me one. And I waved it up and down like this. As you can see, while I'm waving it up and down, it gets smaller and smaller. He was watching very intently. Of course, they love magic. And I said to him, finally, the, egg has, the silk has vanished and it's turned into an egg. And he asked me how it was done. So, of course, I said, well, it's quite simple. I made a hole in the back of an egg. And I stuff the silk into there. Doesn't matter what size silk, I could do it with this one. You have the egg in your hand like this. And you push the silk in. And as soon as it's in, it's very easy to say, well, it was a silk. Now it's an egg. Well, he asked me how it was done, and I showed him. I had actually cut a hole in the egg and stuffed it in there. So I showed him how to do it, put the egg in my hand, took the silk, stuffed it in, and there's the egg. And I said to him, of course, you don't want to let anyone see the hole in it, so you turn it around like that. And if they still don't think it's a real egg, you just break it like that and to show that it's a good egg. <laughs> That's the trick that nearly cost me my life. Thank you.